with me is Joseph Ayodele Abiola. Wow, it's good having you. Thank you very much. Sir. Ah, as you know, I'm really ribs. Let me do it. You know, give you the set of gist. How it happens every year? Yes, every year, every year and day. How it happens? And I think today we should be discussing something about you know, vocational development, education skills. You know, I actually think. Because I went up to one of my friends, you know, as usual. <laughs> I have so many friends. <laughs> so I, 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 I went to one of my friends you know, when he was telling me his dad told him not to learn any of the jobs. You understand? You know, this mm-hmm. corona period was, 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 was at home watch room, jobless, do nothing, just wake up, eat, and sleep. And I was like, it's not, ba- it's not that bad. Yes, it's not that bad. Even high, high personally. I'm talking about high easy. If I give any time I give back to any of my children, none of them will learn any vocational jobs. Really? Yes. Oh. I'll give, I'll just send none of them to boarding school. Okay. Yes, and after the boarding school, your institution and okay. service and you get your work. So, bro Joseph, I don't I don't know anything you feel about this school. <laughs> vocational jobs. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, for me. I would say parents that don't want their children to learn trades, parents that don't want them to engage in any vocational work or the other, they must definitely have their own reason for it. I've been in that shows before. I I have the best parents anyone can pray for, and I'm sure you know that. Wow, wow, wow. And one of the things that actually stopped me when I began was after secondary school, you know, some of us. We went through a lot before we gained admission. So at some point I felt like, let me just go and learn something instead of just staying at home, sleeping and waking up. But it was like, no, you will not learn any vocation. Uh, have you seen, I think he, there's an analogy he used to use. The, have you seen a professor's child, any of a professor's child, going to learn any trade? Or have you seen probably a professor's child being a mechanic or any mm. dirty job like that and i feel like they have their reasons at some point i also felt what he's saying is right okay because to him his own perspective is when you go outside school to learn something mm-hmm. and by virtue of maybe you are you are hand wall you are hard working rather you can you know how to maneuver things and you are skillful we all know that if you are skillful at what you do, there's no way you will not make money. Yeah. So it's, it's of the opinion that when you start making money, the money will cloud your face. Exactly. And you will not focus on your academic. Exactly. Journey. Okay, but my own perspective to things, okay. probably because I've, I've met a lot of persons, okay. and to some mm-hmm. extent, I'm educated. Okay. And I don't know, maybe the perspective of education for so many is different from our own perspective of education. Because to me, Education is just acquiring skills, okay. whether formal or informal. Yes, the yes. things that we learn at home, they are still part of education. So yes. the ones that you are going to learn, apprenticeship is also a form of education. So whether okay. school or no school, me I still believe education must be attained. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, you know, like you you going to learn the kind of vocational jobs, vocational words. Okay, it's just you no, know, you mingle with so many people, okay. like different kind of people. Even, even those people that are not even that, that, that has no form of education. Okay. You meet them and you know different kind of mentality. Okay. You develop several kind several types of mentality. Okay. So and I think with that it can corrupt a kind of you know a kind of mentality you your brain has built has built in you. I want to beg to disagree. Okay. And the reason being that we all know and we are very sure of it that the environment that we are in right now yeah. is a corrupt system already. Yes, yes, yes. Whether you learn trade, you learn any vocation, or even you are in school, okay. <laughs> there are 1,001 people that you meet. Okay. I'm very sure you know that the uh, corrupt practices and vices that we have, the peak of it is in the universities. Okay. So if you are skeptical about learning a trade because of the people that you meet, I think you should be more fearful of someone going to school uh, if that is your point n- n- not, not not like that okay i actually mean it this way okay. you know at the time you're learning kind of professional jobs by then your 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 mentality 
your brain will still be fresh. Okay. I think. And so and before you going to your tertiary institutions, you know, you, start, you, you, you must be, be mature to some extent. Okay. So there's no way anybody will just come from anywhere and change the kind of I'm giving to you a kind of mentality or something. But at the time you are learning a kind of ah, I think so the best way for me to 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 protect my children from from all those stuff is, <laughs> is to guide them from yes, learning. Yes. Okay, let me say this. I want to believe that there is no stipulated age for any anybody to learn. Yes, yes, yes. As we are now, we are still learning. Yes. In yes. fact, the the day a man stops learning, that's the day he has already signed his death warrant by himself. Yes, yes, yes. So we learn on daily basis, whether from childhood, we learn. I think uh, one educationist educationist gave an, a definition of education that is a process of learning whereby a child acquires knowledge from childhood all through his life. Education does not stop anywhere. So whether from a tender age or when you are in the university or even after university, there is no time you cannot learn. Yes, and yes, yes. The, the training you give to your children, even the Bible says you that train your child the way it, it, it will go. Yes, yes. And when it grows up, it will not depart from it. There are some things that you cannot be telling me now that is not good again. I already knew them, <laughs> that they are not good. But even from tender age, I still remember that even when I was still very young, that growing up, we had a lot of things that we want to cloud our face. But the judgment that we give to situations, even at tender age, was based on the background that we had mm. when we were still much younger. So I would like to say that even if someone is learning during secondary school days, someone that will still be corrupt will still be corrupt. Really? I okay. want to tell you. Okay. There are corrupt children even in primary school. So our environment should not dictate what we we'll do. We should be the one that will dictate what we we'll get from the environment. So if my child is learning one form of trade or the other, I'll be very careful to work on my child, not the people he's meeting outside. Because if I work on my own child, it will even influence whoever that wants to influence him. And, and you think that will be easy? Like influencing, you no, know, as a, as a, as a teen children. Okay. Influencing others. Due to what you've, you've you planted in him okay. right from home, and you think you can use that to influence others too. Okay. Not you, not not one person, not two, not two children. Not okay. There are many of them out there. Okay. So and you think you influencing your child right from home can influence others out there too? Okay. Let me say this. My own perspective to life is, especially when it comes to impact and influencing people like that. I have a kind of perspective about that, that, and that is, if you are able to work on yourself perfectly, okay. it just takes you to work on one person. Okay. Even as a grown-up, we cannot influence everybody at the same time, it's not possible. Mm. Even pastors, they have a large number of congregations, but there are still corrupt people in the church. Yeah. That is because everybody cannot be influenced at the same time. And if you take a look at it very well, if you have a very wide, uh, wider audience, it takes just one bad egg mm. to corrupt as many as possible. Okay. If I am bad, in a gathering of people that are good, if I can influence you and you become bad, you also have influence on some other person. So, yeah. the same way it will take my child, if he is well-groomed and well-structured, mm. if he is able to influence just one, okay. that one will have influence on another one. Ah. Now we are three. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So good. the three of us will have influence on another three. We are six now. Ah. The six of us, if we influence other six, we become twelve. That is how impact is being made. Ah, but, but you know, you know, let's come down to the level of learning stuff. Okay. Learning, you know, as a, as as a children, not a grown up child. Okay. Now, as a children, going out learning in your secondary school days. Okay. You know, you just have to commit yourself to to to, to the taste of your friends. Okay. Play together, do things together, and from there, I think the corruption enters. Okay. Like you know, after the school, you move on together to the to the place you're learning your okay. works. Okay. Right? So I, from there, things can you know things can be affected. Okay. I think I remember something I read on WhatsApp. Was it yesterday or day before yesterday? I'm not sure right now. But it was just like a joke. The person was saying that it's only Yoruba mothers that will advise you for two hours. And at the end, they will tell you that I borrow and support my lawyer. That a word is enough for the wise. Even after the lengthy advice, I think 
when we were younger, one of the things that kept us sane up to now is when we remember the words of our mother and our father. Because <laughs> I can tell you, my mother can talk you from now to tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> and there are, there are ways that those words will sink into your head, even if you don't want them to. So when you want to do some, some things that are not right, you get to remember those words and to, to a very large extent, they caution you a bit. So I want to believe that if a child is properly groomed, I want to believe you have watched uh, the train. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not making an well, advert for them. Wow. But there is a scene I want to make reference to in the train by uh, Pastor Mike Bamiloy. You remember the scene where some children gathered themselves together, they were playing. And they told one boy to come and hack Goliath. Goliath okay. And he said, no, I cannot do Goliath. <laughs> Not because that, uh, that, that young lad is well groomed enough. Okay. But probably because of what he has been yeah, hearing, he, has, uh, he, he, has, he had he has, the he news of to. Goliath. Yes. And he, re he remembered that, mm, the character is not something that is palatable. <laughs> yes, yes, so yes. He, he turned them down immediately. Yes, yes. It takes him that's to that's work that's on himself. <laughs> yes, yes, on yes, himself yes. alone. Yes. And when he, he stood his ground, oh, they pushed the character to another person and said, no, no, if you cannot take it, who am I to take it? So, <laughs> every, you re, you yes. realize that that play of theirs would not hold that day because mm -hmm. one person stood his ground. So if I'm able to work on my child, mm. I still believe that it takes one to influence okay okay fine let's let's let, let's questions. look at it from this side now. okay you know i am the father of a, of a of a child okay i i have a kind of focus for my child okay either to study a, a, a kind of maybe medical doctor okay uh, to become a lawyer several professions like that okay so and for instance now i've determined my my child will become a, a lawyer okay and he's now telling me he or she wants to learn Taylor. <laughs> like, just think about it. Or oh, a photographer, you never. Uh -uh. What are you saying? <laughs> what okay. are you talking about? I, so, like, I think that's, that's, that's out of point, you know? I understand you perfectly. Uh, but that will boil down to. I'm actually running away from this point. But I think at this point, we need to be factual with ourselves. It's very good to be focused. To be focused is very good. I'm very sure there is nothing that is as good as being focused. Oh, yes. Whatever you want to do, just keep your high streets and be focused on that till you get there. But I want to also tell you that the kind of environment that we find ourselves, Nigeria is a blessed country. We all know that. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, Nigeria is flourishing. <laughs> but in Nigeria that we find, we that we met ourselves, the situation on ground now. We will not permit someone to just... I, I was talking with a friend, I will not mention his name. He's done with his master's degree in the University of Nevada. Okay. And I want to believe that very soon, he, he will put him for his PhD. I am not saying education is not good. I am not saying going to school is bad. I'm also educated. I, I think you know that. <laughs> I've been through primary school, secondary school. I've been to a tertiary institution and I'm still pursuing my master's currently. So I am not against going to school. But what I'm saying is the kind of environment that we have now, Nigeria as a case study, I don't know of other countries. I think I've only been to a country outside Nigeria, just one. So I cannot use that country to judge every other country of the world. But the country that I'm familiar with, that's Nigeria. I want to say that the Nigeria that we have, we not 100% support you to go to school without an additional skill. <coughs> I'm very sure you'll be familiar with writing a curriculum with a CV. Yes, yes. Even there is a column in the CV <laughs> that will ah, give good. you room to write other qualifications. Yes, other qualifications. And everything ah. that you learn outside school is an addition mm. to you to get a job. But I think instead of that, like that, there are so many seminars out there. Okay. There are so many seminars then. From there you get your, your certificates, even like three months seminar, you have certificates and you add it to your CV. Okay. Okay, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Every certificate that you get in any form of setting that still in one way or the other relate to school setting. Yes. I have other certificates too. I have a certificate in human resource management. I have a certificate in management leadership professional. That's not the top for today. But I want to tell you that every other certificate that you get 
that is still within the confines of anything that looks like the four walls of a school. I want to tell you that they are only theoretical, they are not practical. <sighs> there are lots of electrical engineers outside okay. that cannot fix socket. <laughs> I'm that's, telling you from that's experience. Very bad. That's very I've listened to a lot. <laughs> that's very bad. And I'm very sure if we sample the graduates that we have in Nigeria that are doing fine, okay, if I am not mistaken, like 70% of them are not majoring what they major this way. Mm. You mentioned FAUS. I think you were the one that mentioned FAUS when we started. FAUS, mm. Okay. Okay, you were talking about a lawyer. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm very sure you know FAUS is a lawyer. Yes, yes, I know. I know. And I'm very sure you know that <laughs> he's not a practicing rapper. law <laughs> as much as he's practicing if, 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 what he's um, doing right what, now. What's the name of this guy? Um, I forget his name. Bro Bush and, and Barrister Mike. Barrister Mike, yeah. Barrister Mike is also a lawyer. He graduated of Obafemi. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. The best university in the whole wide world. Yes. yes, yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> Seriously, this, this is he's not funny. practicing. Yes, yes. And yes. I'm very sure you know Punky Akinele too. Yes, yes, Mama. Uh, uh, she did not study theater arts in school. Ah. Uh, Jesus. And she's making it. <laughs> if, that, if that example is very far from us, let me give you an instance that we have that we can relate to it. Okay, by okay, Uluwa Joba oh, is oh. a friend, the CEO of G2 TV. Yeah. yeah, I'm very sure you know he's a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About. <laughs> he's a lawyer. In fact, seriously. and as much as I know, <laughs> I'm not sure he's even planning to practice law. <laughs> seriously. In my practice, I don't know. He has not told me anything about that. But I, I am very sure it's making waves in media now I than in law. So that's what I'm saying. That it's not until you are tied to school mm -hmm. before you can become someone. There are so many persons that will not even practice what they study in school. So learning does not stop within the four walls of a school. Mm -hmm. And every certificate that you get that seems like the four walls of a school can only be theoretical. It is okay. only vocations that give you the practicality of life. Ah. And in most cases, when you meet with the re reality of life, what we learn in school cannot speak for us. Mm. Because mm. I could remember when I was in school, was it 200 level, we started a grammar course. Uh, there was a course on uh, three, uh, three diagrams or so. They would just give you a sentence. They would ask you to analyze it. And you begin analysis, you begin to draw different kind of trees. This one, subject, uh, this one, <laughs> Uh, adverb, this one predicate, you draw it. And at some point, <laughs> after school, I just realized that those knowledge, they are not what we need to relate with the society. And I'm very sure you know that school will even teach you to be able to stand your ground in the society, to yes. not give you what you need in the society. Yes, yes. yes it will only yes. open your eyes yes. to go and learn what you need to stand your ground in the society. Wow, wow. I've had like seriously, <laughs> brain wire has, 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 has busted my brain today. Uh, like seriously, I think audience, you need to come into our eight now. Okay. You need to drop a comment to the comment box, like seriously. Okay. Because I, I, I've been planning to, to, you know, send my children. Uh, and I want to, <laughs> I want to bet it with you. Okay. That people that will drop comments okay. will also support me. Because seventy percent of the graduates, seventy percent of the youth that we have outside. They also have one thing or the other that is bringing money for them outside school. Ah, a bo bo. Ah. I don't know if you, you know. Drop something, please. <laughs> <laughs> I can bro. give you a ah. thousand and one instances. Like seriously, the oh, person bro. that uh, my uh, my stylist okay. is a graduate. Okay. And I'm not sure he's ready. He's Same, as Same as mine. Show. I'm not sure he's ready to, to practice <laughs> what he learned in school. Like seriously, please. I'm very sure you know Amos Oladayo. Yes, 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 yes. See now, now. Uh huh. Wow. Ah. He, he, he did not send me to promote him and I'm not doing that. Same. But I want to tell you, we graduated from the same school okay. and now he's making his feet in fashion industry. Do, I'm and not, I'm very uh, sure that is the case of so many youths outside there. I'm not yet confused okay, until <laughs> I see audience comments. Yes. Okay, we'll wait for your until comments. I see your comments. Very Please just try and drop audience. something. Drop something. Okay. Just say something about this particular discussion. <laughs> like seriously, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Like share this particular show, tell somebody about this particular show, Leo Leaves, Leo Leaves, how it happens everywhere. Till next time of the show, I love you, I'm Easy, and here with me, hi, I'm Joseph Ayodili Abiola, fondly called Omar Viola. Omar Viola. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Till next time.